Molly Sharp Forbes, and I'm here in my studio in Zirconia, North Carolina. And I'm here today because I'm part of the Voorhees Family Art Show, which is going on this weekend, today and tomorrow, from 10 to 8. And you can go to VoorheesFamilyArt.com to find out all the details. And this is part of what we're doing for the weekend. And today I'm going to talk to you about how I melt some of my sterling silver scraps in order to make it into sheets so that I can remake it into jewelry. So if you come down over closer to me, um, I'll show you what everything is here. I can't talk while, I'm de uh, while the torch is going because it makes a really loud noise. So I'm gonna to explain to you everything that we've got here. I've made myself a little oven, so to speak, with, fire, with really soft fire bricks. And it has um, three fire bricks and there's a little vent back here in the back, if you can see that. And that helps to keep it hot while I'm, while I'm putting the, the silver in there. This is a crucible. It's a ceramic crucible, and what I've done is I prepared it by putting a little bit of boric acid powder in there, and what that does is it keeps the silver from sticking to the ceramic. So I've already prepared that. I've also already preheated this somewhat, and that helps, to, that, that um, makes it shorter to melt the silver. It doesn't take as long when you have this all preheated. So that's gonna be here in this little oven. Over here is the ingot mold. And I've actually, um, this is, it's made out of graphite, and I've actually put a little bit of Vaseline in there so again, the silver does not stick. And over here, I have a carbon rod. And once I put the silver into the hot crucible and start melting it, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the boric acid powder, and this keeps everything clean. It keeps the, um, it, this actually pulls out the impurities. I'll stir it up a little bit from time to time, and that's, it, all the impurities will stick to the end of my carbon rod. So this is um, my torch. It's a, an acetylene torch, and I have a very, very large tip on it because we need a huge flame. So I'm gonna heat it up. I'm gonna do, heat a little bit of the, uh, the crucible first, then I'm gonna put the silver in there, then I'm gonna put a little bit of boric acid in there, and I'm gonna heat it until it turns molten. It, it turns into a real shiny little blob. And then with any luck, I'm going to take this over here and I'm going to pour it into the ingot mold and make an ingot. And then I'm, I'll turn the torch off and I'll talk a little bit more about what happens after that. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Set, go. Lighting my torch. I'm going to have to stand up for this. Okay. Right. Gets really hot. And while Molly's working on that, I'm going to show you around her studio a little bit. Uh, the noise is pretty loud, so I hope you can hear me. This is David. I'm up here filming her. This is what she's going to make. This is a picture of one of the ingots after it's been run through the rolling mill uh, once or twice. So um, the ingot that she'll be demonstrating, she, um, she won't be doing the uh, rolling of it right now, but she, uh, when she buys commercial sheet, this is what it looks like. Uh, this one's about half used, I think it's six inches long. So she usually buys her silver commercially prepared, but she's found this way of using her scrap. And um, we're gonna go back and watch what she's got going on here. So hang on, here we are. I got my crucible hot. And also to know that the scrap has to be clean. It can't have any solder on it. Um, and uh, you don't mix silver, so this is all sterling silver. You can put fine silver, but of course you wouldn't put gold in there. And so this is all clean scrap, no solder on it. So now I'm gonna heat this up until it melts. And it's gonna take a few minutes for it to get molten. I'm gonna hold the torch in my left hand so I can use my right hand. Going into the oven.
that's a little ingot that is super hot, super hot. And as soon as I can get it turned over, it, will, it should just drop out. And then I'm going to put it in the crock pot to clean it up. So let me get this out. Is that cool or what? Oh man. You know, it's not very pretty, but it's solid silver. And this all all that oxidation, that's because um, sterling silver is oxidized with copper, and that's what you're seeing on the surface, that black, all that oxidation has come up to the surface. So then what we do is take that very, very hot ingot, and I'm gonna quench it in water first. It's gonna sizzle and come over here. And then I'm gonna put it into my crock pot, which has a mild solution in there, a chemical solution we call pickle. I can pick this with my fingers now, it's not hot. And that, it's hot in here, and that will, actually I'm gonna put it in this basket. That will clean it. So I'm just gonna set it there, and there, and I'll in just a moment I'll, I'll take it out. So um, a couple of things that you, that you saw when I was doing this. You have to keep your flame on the molten silver as you're bringing it over to, over to, the, to the mold. And then you keep it on there as you're pouring it. And you want to do it all in one go. You want to pour it all in one go so um, if, it, if, you, if you go and if it stops pouring and you, then you pour again, it will it'll break up and it'll, you'll have two ingots or it just won't be a good pour. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is, uh, I think David has a picture on his iPad of what it's going to look like because I'm going to roll it through my rolling mill, Explain which that is this again. guy over here. And so I put it through the rolling mill for these, where these rollers are, can you see that? And I'm going to put it through this multiple times, so maybe 10, 12 times until it thins out and stretches out. And then David has a picture on his iPad of it where it's been partially rolled. So that's what it looks like. And then I'll be, I keep rolling it, rolling it, rolling it. And also in between rolls, if you roll it two or three times, it becomes work hardened. Okay, so it gets hard. It, it, um, when you heat silver, it gets more malleable. And then when you work it, hammer it, roll it through a mill, bend it, it becomes work hardened again. You have to go back and you have to heat it again, not to molten, just it's called annealing. And you just you heat it until it's annealed. It gets cherry red, doesn't melt. And you come back, clean it up, come back to the mill and put it through and then you, you roll it down to a gauge that you like. This is, this is a piece of silver that I bought. I didn't roll this one, this is 24 gauge. I would probably roll this one down to about 20 gauge, maybe 18, 18, 20 gauge. And then I'll have a sheet that doesn't look like this. It'll be more organic looking. And, but I can, I can use it just like I would any sheet, cut it up, form it into jewelry. So let's go back to the, to the uh, crop pot and see if it's cleaned up any. Yeah, let's see. It's getting there. I'm gonna put it, rinse it out in the water. That's is a, big, it's a big piece of silver. So there you have, it's, Still got some spots on it. It probably could stay in there a little bit longer. But there you have your piece of silver that's been melted. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. You can find me at my website, which is mollysharpmetalsmith.com. Um, but be sure to visit our show this weekend. It's uh, voorheesfamilyart.com. Come to the show, come by. We have eight different artists. My husband, who's behind the camera right now, is the potter, and we have a couple of painters, a felt maker, um, a bookmaker, a stained glass artist, and the potter. So anyway, that's my demonstration, and thank you so much for watching. Molly, I'm going to show them just a few of your finished pieces, sure. just so they're there. Yeah. but stand right there because I love the one that you have okay. on. Explain it, because this is the one that's a, like a spirit box or yeah, something. Yeah, this has it? a little... I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's a, little rattles inside. They're sterling silver. It's a hollow form construction. It's very geometric. 
and it has a green chrysoprase stone that's been set in 18 karat yellow gold. And you started with the same sheets that you would make out of this yes, in order to make that, didn't exactly. you? Exactly. Well, let me show a couple more of the hollow forms because that's what is one of Molly's specialties. So um, this is all a lot of her jewelry. Most of these things are actually on her website available. Um, and everybody appreciates your support. We're going to untangle that one. I really like this. It's very... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Hi, Sue. Glad you joined us. Oh, yeah, look at that. See if I can get the texture in there. It's kind of hard with the, um, let me get a little bit of an angle. So Molly um, can roll, when she goes through the rolling mill, you want to explain the texturing? Um? The texturing part is um, I do it with textured brass plates. And sometimes I make them, and sometimes I buy them all the all ready textured. I'll show you one. I love these, the kind of pea pod, three-sided. Oh yeah, these are... So these patterns can be rolled through the rolling mill with a sheet of sterling silver on top, um, and the, this pattern will be transferred, transferred over Transfer. to the sterling silver, and that's how I get... I like the texture a lot, and so that's how I get the, the texture on a lot of my jewelry that I make. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So, okay. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Again, mollysharpmetalsmith.com or Voorhees Family Art. Make sure you go over there and check out. We have several more live events coming up today as well as tomorrow. I can't remember who comes up at 2. Do you remember? Uh, anyhow, I uh, wish we should, should have gotten that ready. But anyhow, we have several more on the hour. There's a live demo here at Voorhees Family Art Show on Facebook, and it'll be on live. So thank you for joining us. And uh, any comments are appreciated. Take care.